<clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I got a mod today from Cthulhu Mods that I wanted to talk about called the Hastur. There it is right there with the 22 millimeter mouth to lung dwarf RTA on top. Honestly been having a really, really great time with this device. But what I want to do right now is a little bit of a pros and cons list and then I'll meet you back up here. We'll wrap it up with some final thoughts. Firstly, I just really like the way it looks. It's got this real slick, sleek, clean design and it just lends itself to being really, really very comfortable in the hand when you're holding it. Hit it with your thumb hit it with your finger. It's just comfortable and ergonomic all around. It also has a fairly nice full color display. Your wattage numbers are nice and big on there. It gives you all the information that you need as far as wattage, resistance, voltage. I also really like the big battery level indicator at the bottom. It's very accurate, very accurate and very helpful. I'm also very thankful to Cthulhu Mods for putting a USB-C charging port on this device. Every mod needs USB-C charging on it. The rounded side of the device is about 24 millimeters around, so 24 millimeter RDAs and RTAs like the Goon will fit on there just perfectly. It's 85 millimeters tall, which makes it just about as tall as like the full size Odin device. The Hastur is powered by Cthulhu Mod's Atom chip, which lets you do straight wattage mode. It lets you do a bypass mode, so you can kind of treat it like a mech mod. And it also has temperature control included. Now, if we're gonna get into some cons of this thing, as much as I really like this display, I hate that it says has tour across the top. It just seems completely ugly, completely unnecessary to me. Additionally, changing out the batteries in this does get kind of obnoxious. It's just got that tiny little two finger little thumb screw that you have to screw in and out every time you want to change the batteries. I know by design there's really no other way they could have done this, but it doesn't keep it from being annoying. Additionally, it's only powered by a single 18650 battery, which if you're running a lot of low wattage, maybe mouth to lung stuff would work out really well. But in a world of 2700s and 21700s, I wish with all my wishes that this could have been a 21700 or at least a single 2700 battery device. I got it set in bypass mode right now. Well, that's the Bogan Blotto Mini on top. From the front, it just looks like a cool little mech mod. Really enjoyable in bypass mode, plenty of power. Like I said, you can kind of treat it like a mech. So final thoughts. Yeah, I really dig this Hastur mod. Did I mention that the buttons are nice and clicky as well? Because yeah, the buttons are nice and clicky. In fact, there is no rattle at all. No play, even a little bit, just feels very high quality, honestly. This was a device that wasn't even on my radar and I'm so thankful that it came across my desk because I legitimately enjoy and love using this thing. I've always had a special place in my heart for little single 18650 bangers and this, yeah, this Hass Tour has just found its way into that space in my heart for single 18650 bangers. Now, are you gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out the Cthulhu Hastur regulated mod? I mean, yeah, kind of a little bit. Clicking around the internet, you can find it from about 80 to $90, with $85 being sort of the normal asking price for it. So, yeah, a little bit of vape budget hands. I mean, it does a maximum of 80 watts, so you're paying ab about a buck a watt there. Now, if we were to play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take all of my vape gear, I have nothing left to vape. Is the Cthulhu Mods Has Tour something I'm gonna seek out and buy like right away? Even at $85, and even though it's a single 18650, I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, dude, yes. Give me the Has Tour. I want it, I wanna use it. There's so many things that I've put on the top of this where I go, oh fuck, that just looks cool. It's so small, it's so slick, it's so comfortable. I just freaking love this thing, coming very, very highly recommended. 
So yeah, it is what it is. It's the Cthulhu Has Tour. No links are allowed in the description because of YouTube. So you're gonna have to use that Google Foo, but thank you guys seriously so much for watching. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, vaping is still and will always be at least 95% less harmful for you than burning deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So yeah, you guys, let's definitely keep on vaping.